Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Sebel Engineering, the realistic civil engineering simulator. I've literally just been watching this for like the last five minutes. I like got really distracted. I was like wondering if it's like an animation or whether it's physics. It's physics. They're literally just constantly falling all different ways. I definitely rate this loading screen. <laughs> what is How does that happen? How do two cars come along there upside down? Right, anyway, let's get into it. So last time you will have remembered we literally ended on a cliffhanger. Get it? Cliffhang? Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger? Uh, so I guess that's where we're starting. We've got a budget of 500 quid. Remember, any budget we don't spend, we get to keep. And that goes into the top right. Currently, we have 1,625. Five, and I might go spend that in the Moke shop afterwards. Hey bro, you wanna hop on some Halo Infinite after this? I haven't actually played Halo Infinite on my to-do list. Uh, meant to be banging, I heard. All right, this is quite a cool little level, this. Let's go take a closer look. So I think I can see what the problem here. Somewhat... Oh, I mean, there's an even bigger problem over there. There's a picnic bench, a lorry, and a car that no one can get to. I love that the menu's still up there. <laughs> It's it's usable as well. I can literally click on all these buttons. But yes, the problem here is someone has built a road directly through a cliff. Probably an architect. Yeah, so if we just wait for him to come, then... Okay, right, so we've got to try and fix this so that cars don't fall to their impending doom. Or at least they do, but they go through this green gate first. So we can raise and lower bits of road. So I reckon if we raise that one and that one, maybe another one there, then they should just go left. Oh, three clicks and we're done. Let's go take a closer look at our incredible work. Really? <laughs> That's the thanks I get for fixing the road. But yeah, and as soon as we get to 10 out of 10 cars to pass through the green, we've completed the level. Let's go play some Halo. All right, so next up, where are we going? We've done so many levels. All these green ones we have completed. So we're over to here. We're on crossroads. And our budget here is 600 quid. And if there's anything like the last level, we could gain a hefty profit. Look, we got over two grand already. I might have to spend some of that in my new merch store. Look at all these lovely designs. Don't you want one? Look, this one's embroidered. Honestly, do I need to explain every fucking job to you? Can't you read the project files like everyone else? <laughs> How long do you have to work here before you'll be in it positive for this company? This one is pretty self-explanatory. Use your eyes and brains and fix it. Wow, he sounds like my old boss. <laughs> right, so we are going to do what Mr. Man said, and we're going to use our own brains and work out what we've got to do on this level. So we have a crossroads. We've got two loads of traffic coming in this way. Uh, from the right, we've got one lane of traffic. They're currently making it round. Look at this. So they're flying down here. The lorry and picnic bench is still over there for some reason. They are flying down hitting the edge of that and going through there. That's already at 40-40, so we're good. Uh, we have just need to fix over in that direction. We've got to get 10 cars way down there. Uh, one other thing I want to do as well. I noticed on this grass down here, this lawnmower, <laughs> he's not having a good day. He is not having a good day. I might try and save his life. Yes, it will cost me potential profit. Like, I used to mow lawns. I know the pain. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so let's raise this edge. Okay, I think... No, we haven't quite saved his life. Yes, now we have saved his life. And look, he's actually mowing the lawn. Did you see that? He literally cut the grass. Do you reckon that's like a secret achievement to cut all the grass? Right, I'm actually going to do this. <laughs> And it's off. It's cutting all the grass. This is so cool. <laughs> this is more satisfying than lawnmower simulator. Oh, but this actually looks really neat, actually. All right, then that bit in the middle. Nice. Heading over that direction and then falling to your doom. Fair enough. So I'll tilt that up so he heads over that way. <laughs> what? This is insane. I'm actually cutting grass. All right, that's it. Cut through there. Good work, matey. All right, this lawnmower is cutting everything. Can we get that one more piece? Raise, raise, raise. Go that way. Oh, I just missed it. Right, get that piece. Oh, come on. Why did you turn? Why did you turn? That might be the hardest bit of grass to get ever. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is more satisfying than the actual game. Right, there you go. Get that bit. Nice. We've only got a small little clump behind it now. Yes. We've done it. We've done it. I think we've mown everything. <laughs> Why am I so excited? All right, we have spent $465 of our $600 budget. So I'm just going to try and put the grass back to normal. Oh, no, there's one patch here. There's still a patch of grass. Right, we're going to have to come this way, mate. All right, there it goes. Raise. Yes. Okay, now all the grass is cut. So now we'll get our money back. Oh, this is so dumb, but so good. All right, nearly back to normal. All right, well, that's good enough. 15 quid spent to mow this lawn. I'm happy with that. So let's do the actual game now. 
Uh, we've got to try and deflect this traffic down that road. I assume that's going to be the cheapest way. So what if we raise that? Oh, look, look, one's going over there. Go on. Oh, I just missed it. Right, people really want to get into the 3D smoke shop. <laughs> uh, massive queues to get into. Uh, what can I do to get people along this road a bit more lower that maybe and raise that one maybe lower this all right i feel like we're actually getting quite close if we can bounce off that building look we've already got one we've already got one if we can bounce off that building a bit easier so if we raise that right there we go i think i've just about tweaked this so it works we spent a lot of our budget 410 quid i wonder if there was an easier way of just doing a jump i don't know but for now let's watch the actual replay so this is first person perspective perspective there goes the smoke shop oh that guy definitely didn't make the destination <laughs> what about this one nope i just want to see is there a better way of doing this all right that's it they're going over there perfectly so i think if we just raise that one a little bit can we tweak them to the right all right there we go they are going through there and then it's just a case of lowering that and raising that all right so there you go that is another solution unfortunately a little bit more expensive but meme number. So who's the real winner here? Anyway, the next level is called High Street. And it's another one where we've got 600 quid. Now that everyone is using Google Maps, it seems like there is a new beta trending every week. This old back road was never intended to be a major intersection. Can you prevent these people from life hacking their way into oncoming traffic? Oh, I love that dude. I love that dude. Right, so just like in real life, we've got old roads, but we've got a modern amount of traffic, which means they've got way more traffic than they were designed for. So we've got to try and figure out how we're going to sort it. But first off, we're going to go have a little wander around because this looks like nice little cobbled streets. I love that the texture of the building has like the top of a car cut off and look at Blake's face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little old man. So there's also a river here. Can I go through this? Yes, I can walk through this. And look, we've got the Tsar bar there. I'm assuming it's a bar. And just up the street, there's another Tsar. The chains are taking over. It's like Weatherspoons in the UK. Oh, and this time, there's a picnic bench actually on the grass. So like an engineer in real life, we're going to stop, have a little picnic, try and draw some inspiration from nature and the traffic that's whizzing past us. I'll tell you what, this pipe under here, this drainage, this is not to stand. This is not how it should be working. What texture is on the back of that build? What is that strip? I need to, I need to take a closer look at that somehow. Oh, look, it's the street that we saw earlier. But it's up there with the old men faces. You can see them up there on the cars. So I think that is actually the roof halfway up this building. Oh man, I love this game. I don't know why. There's just something, there's just something about it that I love. But anyway, we're not here to judge the textures. We are here to build a road to civil engineer our way to glory. Uh, so what I was thinking, could I actually use that drainage? Could we do a combined multidisciplinary design here? Because what I was thinking, if I could make the drainage be a feature in the road design, oh, maybe not. It's not long enough. But what I wanted us to do is what it's doing there, create a jump so that we could take these cut. What has happened with these cuts? <laughs> How did you get up there? Honestly, how the hell did he get up there? Can I get up there? Can I like... No, I can't get up there, but I have clipped inside a building. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really impressive. Kind of annoying because it means I don't know how to get traffic down. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully they'll sort themselves out and then we can sort of just direct them. The trouble is we've got too much traffic coming down. I might have to try and deflect you guys over that way a bit. If I can get these ones to hit the ramp. Right, they're hitting the ramp. But uh, look at these. <laughs> look at the ones on the back literally doing the perfect backflip. Although actually, that's not, that's not a bad shout. Screw this traffic. You guys, I can't be asked to deal with you. What we could do, if we raise that, that's suddenly those fixed. And then all we need to do is guide those ones. Like, they're almost doing it. So if we just lower, like, this end. Oh, they're so close. They just need a bit more momentum. <laughs> oh man, they are actually really quick. Can I do it this way? There you go, that one's going. Oh, he's too low. All right, let's let's do first person on this. There you go, there you go. They are coming. If we just raise this up a little bit. Ah, uh, ow. <laughs> oh, they're so close. All right, I would say it is possible. Oh, that one, that one, is it going to go? Is it going to change to one? Oh, it's still too low. All right, how about now? Ready, ready. Are they going to go? Yes. Okay, so it does work, sort of. I might just need to gun a lot of people. Anyone that gets stuck you get shot. I think every third car, you got a one in three chance of making it to work upside down. 
All right, the front flip has stopped. All right, that's not working. Let's get back to the drawing board. All right, there we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm sort of doing the waterfall method. Very, very popular civil engineering technique that we like to use. Oh, and look how close that is. They are nearly making it. The question is, can I get up there without dying? I can't go too close to that line. Am I going to get trampled? I think I might do. Honestly, though, I do think if we started designing roads this way, it would be a lot more attractive to people as a career choice. And there we go. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Bit of a pile up. There you go. There you go. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's like weird waves. We can get one, two, three, four down. But then the others go a bit mental. Right. Is that better? Oh, not quite. Wait, damn you, game. I had to cheese it a bit. I had to change the road mid, mid design mid-use. Alright, there you go. I've done it, I think. I've, you just gotta tweak the design as they're driving. Nearly seven, eight. I just gotta get two more in there. Oh, come on. All go in. Go in. Ten. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> oh, proper had to cheese that one a little bit. But let's watch a replay. This is the guy coming down. Nice. Very, very smooth road. Wouldn't even know you're driving on a road. It's that smooth. Uh, then we've got Hill Corner. I wonder what this is going to involve. Of course, it's another budget of 600 quid. You know what I've noticed? Nope. Nobody panics when things go according to plan. That's true. Even if the plan is horrifying. Yep. If tomorrow I tell you that you will spend 30% of your life waiting in traffic, or that every 10 miles per hour doubles your chance of death in a car crash, nobody panics. True. Because it's all part of the plan. But when I say that you need to take one little right turn onto a 30% incline, then everyone loses their minds. <laughs> it is true, and it's exactly what these guys have to do here. So you're going to have to take a right turn, guys, onto a 30% incline. Uh, ideally, without mullering the traffic trying to get up the hill. Oh, there we go. There we go. We have done it. Although the ones trying to go up the hill, they're now parking in this guy's house. <laughs> Uh, we need to send you right a little bit. So if we just lower this edge, perhaps raise that edge. There you go. There you go. They're going through. Perfecto. That was easy level. Decade of engineering skills. Finally putting it to good use. And also, look at that chimney. That is the strongest shape. Oh, next up, we have a drive through exit. Uh, this takes me back to uni. My friend, he had like this big van, like we used to go surfing in it and stuff. And honestly, one of the worst drivers I've ever met. Absolutely useless. We went and got a KFC through the drive through And as we were coming out the drive through exit, he literally just drove straight into a bollard. He said he didn't see it. <laughs> Like, both of our necks nearly came off. Yeah, and amazingly, not a dent on his van in the slightest. But anyway, let's see what we're doing here. We've got 800 quid to play with. Do we have bollards to avoid? So that is the drive through over there. Pizza bag. Oh, I love pizza bag. All right, so if we go take a little first-person venture in. So they're coming out of pizza bag. I think they've got to come round this arm and go that way. Meanwhile, we don't really want to disturb these guys because they're, they're doing great. They're going straight over to there. This is not the frog store. What is it then? What is it? I want to go over there. Do you reckon I can make the jump? Ready? Huh. Oh. <laughs> Gravity is strong in this game, but we made it. Can I get over there? Yes, we can. And there's mannequins. There's huge mannequins. That's terrifying. Oh, do you reckon that's literally what it means by skybox? Like the sky is a box, but most people put a lid on it. Not this developer. Not this developer. Sky lids are for architects. All right, anyway, let's try and do this level then. So we're going to have to lower this corner. We're doing... Proper banked turn, super elevation, and then we're going to have to raise this side as well. And there we go. They're spinning around. Oh, I've just ruined some people's lives. So I think the idea is we sort of, I don't know, maybe we need to come down sooner. Proper get them on this edge. That looks really cool, though. Let's try and get in a place where we won't die there. Look at this corner. <laughs> it's like proper NASCAR, that is. Ow. Oh, and there we go. We've got some good orientation driving going on. Right, so that's pretty good. We're guessing it. You can see there's a bit of a sharp corner they're taking. Yes, yes. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Okay, just lower that one a little bit. No, we've got to raise it. Right, I think we've just about done it. So they come down, boosh, hit that corner, and they're straight over. Nice. We spent a lot of money though, 615 quid. We've only got 800 to play with. But check out the time. Got to love a meme time. And hopefully you can watch a replay of us coming around this corner. This is actually quite realistic. It's like a banked corner. Well, not, not too realistic looking at it. 
But we do have bank corners like this in real life. It's called super elevation of a road. If you notice, like, the faster the road and the steeper the bend, particularly on, like, motorways and highways, you know, if you ever stopped, you'll, like, notice actually how steep some of these roads are. And it's all to make it easier to turn around. Yeah, so let's have a look at the replay. Oh, no, it's, it's the straight ahead ones. Very interesting. Well, at least the steering wheel is realistic in this one. No turning happening at all. Speed, not quite as realistic, though. We are caning it. Anyway, let's go to the next level. All right, so now we're on the parking garage exit. The car park ice. they just changed the name of it they changed the name of the level mid level all of our other interns gave up on this job they said it wasn't possible to prevent collisions at an intersection without some form of traffic signal but if it were possible my boss would be very happy let's see what you can do all right mr yellow man we will sort this out i think we can do this all we've got to do i think is raise this edge get a bit of a jump going on man they are really out they are really not driving fast enough i thought they'd be sort of doing a bit of a a little bit of a jump but it appears not so the question is can we make them go a different route so that looks like it's a pile up and you're partly right if you're thinking that but i believe it will lead to something incredible so what i gotta do is get the traffic to come down here without killing me and if we can get a constant flow into the 40 all right so how's that looking that is very close to that top road so if we just lower that by one and keep the shotguns going right i'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands get back get back i want to see why these guys aren't making it they're sort of grinding over the edge see you later all right, there we go. I think we've done it. They're counting up. I've just got a shotgun to stop people interfering from this arm. Get back, get back. That number's still going up. No, no, no. Oh, no. They're trying to, they're trying to sneak through, you cheeky buggers. Damn architect drivers. Stay on your own side of the road. All right, so we've done it. We were over budget, though. We lost money. But the boss man did say it couldn't be done. All right, cool. Anyway, what is next? So having a look through the map, it looks like we've completely finished the game. However, if you head down to the bottom left, past all the levels, you come to here santa catalina island and we have two levels glitch one and glitch two i have no idea what these are going to be like so let's give it a go glitch one budget of 300 quid what is this mess dev what have you been up to right it looks like we've just got loads of planes no i don't mean airplanes i mean these are all like four-sided shapes so as it's getting over to here okay i might lower this and then lower that and then oh look it's going over oh that is highway engineering at its finest just over 10 percent of the budget and we've done it glitch one is ours i think we need to watch this look perfectly glitching through love it didn't even have to turn our toyota steering wheel and then glitch two. Oh god what is this mess what is this dev what have you done I, i'm guessing they hired an architect to do this one. Oh god okay we've got to get down there it might be worth trying to lower that point raising that one no that didn't work oh there we go if we raise this one out the way it's the game's proper glitching. It doesn't like this. <laughs> Surprisingly. Oh, God. Uh, but if we just move these out the way a bit. All right, so let's get into that point fine. So I think we'll raise you up. And yeah, oh, we've done it. We've done with a corkscrew. Oh, that's so cool. 150 quid. Look at that. Corkscrew to the finish. Don't you just love to see it? Let's watch the replay of this. Are you ready? Boosh. Twist. Oh, you can't even see a thing. <laughs> Right, well, just goes to show you, real life highway engineering helps you achieve anything. I've just noticed my bloody mouse pointer. It's a USA flag. What's that all about? Where's the British one? We invented roads or something. Right, well, anyway, guys, that was Sebel Engineering. Uh, we've completed all the levels. Hopefully there are new things coming soon because if we hover over these, co-op is coming soon. There's a world builder coming soon and even the controls are coming soon. So we've got all of that to look forward to. In the meantime, peace, love and glitchy highways. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.